Hello folks from Slide Nerd. This is Weaves. In this video, I'm going to be making a program to calculate the area, the perimeter of a circle and a sphere as well. Now the sphere is a surface area and volume. So first, I'm going to walk you through how the logic works and then we are going to implement this in the program. It's a pretty simple program, probably the starter kind of stuff. So let's see how it does. So First we need the input for the perimeter, you can ask the user, you can assume a value or you take a random value. So what I'm going to do is to keep things simple, I will assume a value. Next we'll use the formula P is 2 pi r which is 2 pi times the radius and we'll display this value to the user. This is all we are going to do in the first program guys, so there is nothing to worry. We are going to do this using something called Eclipse, probably you've heard about it or you have never heard about it. So. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'll show you how things are done in this. It's pretty simple. So now we have file. We go to new Java project. I'm going to call this project circle. Click finish. Next, I will right click new Java class. I'll call this circle test since I plan to test both area and perimeter inside. I'll click finish. So at this point, all the blah blah stuff is written and ready to use. We just need to write our stuff, right? So we'll give it radius, something like 12, since I'm, I'm going to assume values in this. Give it a type of double, because we are going to multiply this with 3.14, right? Now we have our pi, which is 3.14. Give this again a type of double. Alright, at this point we just need to multiply these two by saying 2 into pi into radius. Okay, now we need to store this somewhere. We'll call that value P, perimeter, semicolon, make a perimeter of type double. And now we just have to display this. Saying system dot out dot println. And we're gonna put P inside. File, save. All right, now right click on this, click run as. Java application. Okay, now you see your 75.36. That means something is running. All right, at this point, our perimeter program is done. Now, I'm going to show you how to work the area. It's pretty similar, but we are going to make things a little more interesting by taking input in this one. So let's find out how circ area works. Same thing you do. You have input. In this case, we are going to ask the user for the input. Then we use the formula pi r square, calculate area, and we print it pretty simple right so all right I'll go back to Eclipse so since we already have a perimeter program let's wipe everything out in this and make sure it's for area now all right now first we gotta ask the user for input so first we let ask the user to enter something that's the radius system dot out dot print ln we'll say enter radius right and at this point, the user is going to enter something which we need to uh, capture in our program. So the first thing, if you remember about input, is using either buffer reader or scanner. In an earlier video in my playlist, I have shown you how buffer reader and scanner both works. I'll give you the link probably in this video somewhere. So first we need to set up a pipe for taking input binary data. The system.in is going to connect with the user. Then we need to convert this into characters and we need a bigger pipe for flowing the characters away okay at this point we need to import all these things we can simply go at the top and say import java.io.star import all the classes and packages within java io Alright, it's system.n, sorry about that. Alright, now next, buffer reader, we give this a name. So at this point, everything is ready. The pipe is constructed, we need to start the data inside. So we say line. This is gonna give us a string, right? Say string input. Now here's the thing, we need to convert this string to oh wait a second yep there is going to be an error because 
it may be possible that the user enters nothing so in that case you'll have to be prepared for that so to avoid errors I'm going to simply say throws exception at the top at this point everything is settled now this input is exactly the value inside which the user has entered the number the radius we need to convert this as a double right so we have double we say radius is input now you can't equate that can you because this is a string this is a double we need to change it so use something called double dot parse double we put this input inside now here's the thing this parse double is a function that changes string input to a radius which is in double and this parse double function is inside the double class so we say double dot parse double for conversion alright so now at this point we have the radius with us now we need to calculate the area it's pretty simple we say pi we need pi right oops oops pi is 3.14 so we say pi into radius into radius this thing needs to be stored somewhere we'll say double area store it in the area right and now we simply need to print this out area all right so at this point everything is ready let's go and run this baby out file save right click run as java application enter the radius we'll say 12 it says 452.155 something it would be better if we had a message over here so in area along with the number we'll put a double quote add this up inside the double quotes we say the area is space alright now let me click again file save right click run as java application at this time I'll say 10 I'll click enter okay now it says the area is 314 that means 10 into alright 3 10 into 10 into 3.14 yep that's perfect so at this point the circle program is done now we're gonna check the spear one so in the next part I'm gonna be talking about the spear how to calculate its surface area and volume so if you guys understood something out of this video please subscribe to my channel I'll be making a lot of stuff on Java and hopefully some other languages too so have a nice day I'll catch you guys later